Hi, first grade friends. I'm super excited to share the fairy tale, Beauty and the Beast with you today. This version of Beauty and the Beast is retold by Cynthia Rylant, and you're gonna see that she is also the author of Sleeping Beauty, which you'll read later this week with me. Beauty and the Beast. stuck. There lived three sisters and a father in a humble house in the country. They had once known great riches, but the father's business had failed, and now they lived a spare, hard life. Two of the three sisters were darkly discontent. They muttered day and night about their unfair life. The third daughter, the youngest, was different. She did not mutter, she sang. Her name was Beauty. One day, good news arrived. A ship thought lost at sea had sailed into port and on it was cargo belonging to Beauty's father. This cargo would restore all his lost riches. The two eldest daughters were overjoyed for having riches was all that mattered to them. Beauty was happy too, but her happiness was for her father, who could once again stand tall. The father asked, each of his daughters what he might bring her from the port. The eldest daughter asked for emerald necklaces, but the youngest daughter wanted only a rose. Winter has been so long, she said, so her father promised her a rose. But alas, there was a tragedy. When Beauty's father arrived at the port, all his cargo had been stolen. He was left with nothing and faced a long, sad journey home. Deep in the forest, a blizzard set upon him. He became lost. His horse guided him to a stone castle in the woods, and the poor man stumbled inside fell on the floor and slept. When he awoke, Beauty's father found a great banquet spread before him. So he ate and ate. Then he discovered a chamber bed covered with fur blankets and he slept again. The next day, the blizzard had passed, and Beauty's father set out for home. Riding away from the castle, he saw a single rose blooming in the garden, and he cut it. There erupted then such a sound as the nearly stop as to nearly stop the man's heart beating and a terrible beast was upon him. I give you food and shelter, snarled the beast, and in your greed you cut away my only rose. Shaken, the father told the beast of his long journey and of his youngest daughter who had asked for nothing but a rose. I'm very sorry, said Beauty's father. I owe you my life. that you do the beast said and from this day forward you will remain here and be my servant but my daughters will be lonely without me cried the father and the beast who knew loneliness better than this father would ever understand fell silent 
Finally, he said, I will allow you to be master of your house, but in return, you must send one of your daughters to me to be my servant to the, till the end of her days. There is no father of honor in the world who would sacrifice his daughter to a beast. And this father was no different. He returned home to tell his daughters that they must live life without him. So he was planning on going back himself. But the youngest refused to lose her father for a rose. And she insisted that she herself would go. Beauty was sure that one day the beast would release her. And somehow she made her father believe it too. So he delivered her to the beast. Beauty had prepared herself for the beast's terribleness. And when he took her hand, she did not tremble. So began the story of Beauty and the Beast. The beast was kind to her. She wore the loveliest gowns, ate the finest food, and never once was asked to be a servant. In the morning, the beast walked with her in the gardens and named the birds who flew there. In evenings, he read to her from a book of sonnets. And every day, he asked her if she was happy. I am happy, she always answered. Then one day, the beast asked her to marry him. But Beauty said sadly, I cannot marry you, for I do not love you. And sadly, the beast accepted her answer. That night, Beauty had a dream that her father, sick with worry for her, had become ill. She asked the beast to let her go home. No, he roared. For the first time, Beauty drew away from him. But because he did love her, the beast let her go. She promised she would return, but he did not believe her. Gratefully, Beauty went home and nursed her father back to health. Then one night she dreamed that the beast lay dying. In the morning, she rode hard to the stone castle. When Beauty arrived, it seemed everything was dying. She found the beast lying in the garden and he too was nearly dead. Beast, she whispered. She looked into his terrible face. She could not imagine life without him. I love you, she said. The moment she spoke those words, the beast gave a terrible shudder and at once was transformed into a beautiful young man. No, cried Beauty, where is my beast? The young man smiled and spoke to her softly. Your love has broken the spell, he said. I am the beast no more. Beauty looked into his eyes. She knew this was her beast in lovelier form, her dear beast. He told her that he had once been a young prince living in his father's kingdom. 
when he refused to marry the daughter of a wicked witch. The witch cast a spell on him, trapping him into ugliness and loneliness. The spell could only be broken by love. The miracle is that it was. And that is the story of Beauty and the Beast. Okay, I hope you enjoyed.